rigatoni alla segreta. Wonderful dish. It's a great dish to make at home when you want to make something quick and feed the whole family and be nutritious. I'm using barilla pasta, one of my favorites. We'll just throw enough to get started. Give that a quick stir, and we'll get that in boiling water that's been salted, ready to go. Now, on a preheated pan, I always like to heat up my pans, add a little bit of olive oil to that, and we're going to sear our chicken breasts. Very simply, just take some chicken breast that's been pounded out, dredge it in a little flour, and we'll get it searing in our pan. We'll do another piece right here. We'll get that going also. Once you've used the chicken breast and the flour, you might as well get rid of this. It's, you can't be too careful with chicken and cross-contaminating in certain products. So let's get this out of the way. Wash our hands, of course. Voila. We're just going to sear both sides of this chicken just enough so that way we could cut into it. And then we're going to add our ingredients and let the chicken finish cooking with the other ingredients. So our ingredients are, I mentioned, red grapes, garlic, cream, gorgonzola cheese, artichoke hearts, and roasted red peppers. Our brandy is ready. We have always a little salt and pepper, which we like to season as we go. So let's throw some on our chicken. Bingo. Now this is just about ready to pull out. Now we're going to use the same pan. We've cooked down the chicken in there. You could do them individually. Now I'm using a separate cutting board. Again, you don't want to, in, you don't want to introduce other foods to where you're working with chicken that could be partially raw or raw. So we're just going to use this cutting board just for chicken. And we're going to just cut it down. We're going to get this back into the pan and let it finish cooking and adding our other ingredients. All right, get our chicken back in. Our pasta is boiling, getting ready. Get it up, make sure it's higher. Let's get rid of these two. So let's get our chicken working up nicely. We're going to add our ingredients. We have some roasted peppers. We get that in. Artichoke hearts. Now I'm going to add garlic. You notice I didn't add garlic right away first because when you add garlic to hot oil, most of the time you're going to burn your garlic. This way we're going to get the flavor of the garlic in, but we're not going to burn it. That's very important. And grapes. Let's let that heat up nice and get ready. Make sure our pasta is working. little salt and pepper just to season this. There we go. Kosher salt is one of the best salts you could use for that, or um, sea salt. All right, our pan is nice and hot. Let's add in some brandy. Take your pan away, because it just might flambe. In this case, it didn't for us, so that's OK. We'll reduce our brandy down a little bit. We'll add our gorgonzola. So all our ingredients are in. The gorgonzola is going to break down very nicely. And we'll finish it off with a little cream. Now this sauce is going to reduce. It's going to make a nice, wonderful sauce for us. You probably noticed it on our menu at Luca's. It is one of the most popular dishes we make. And it's a very simple dish. And that incorporated with the pasta just going to give amazing flavors. So our pasta is just about ready. Let's just get a couple of towels to uh, take this off of there. Best way to find out if pasta is ready is to taste it. There's uh, the throw the at the wall technique, but that just makes your wall messy. I just say taste it. Al dente, to the tooth. So if it's a little, has a little bite or it bites back for you, it's probably where you want it. This one is just a little al dente just the way I like it, and we're going to drain that. Put this back on here, turn that off. We are ready to go. Draining pasta, not a science, but you do want to get all the water out of there. 
If you have a little bit left, it's not going to kill it, but that's great. You don't want to, and this is very important, you don't want to rinse cold water on it. It takes away the starches, and the sauce that would incorporate with it doesn't hold well to the pasta. It's also why I like to use pastas with lines. We're using rigatoni, which means ridges, and the, the lines on the rigatoni adhere to the sauce and just give, lets it stay there better. So that's ready. Our sauce is going to reduce nicely here. We'll give it a minute. The gorgonzola is going to melt into this sauce. The grapes are going to get softer. The roasted peppers are just going to give it flavor. It's just going to bring an amazing variety of flavors to it. And we are just about ready. You want to get it to a sauce consistency, just a little bit lower than that. And you'll see how the sauce comes together on the sides. Get some nice flavors, and you'll see the, the chicken. Now, the, you notice that the chicken was partially all, halfway cooked when we threw it in. It's going to finish up while it's in there. So it, it'll be fully cooked chicken when you're ready to go. OK? We'll just get a little another stir on that. Love to incorporate pasta into the sauce as opposed to just throwing it on last minute. So you leave it a little bit more watery than you would if you were throwing it on top. And that'll give you the effect. It'll dry up a little bit more as you toss this, and it'll give you an amazing pasta dish to work with. We'll turn this off. And spoon it out. Voila. We have rigatoni alla segreta. People coming over, it's a very quick dish to prepare. You can prepare your chicken in advance if you like. You can do it uh, while people are there if you like. Just a lot of nice things you can work with. Do a couple of sprigs of parsley over the top on each of those. We could do Italian parsley. We'll do some curly parsley. Clean off our plates. And voila. Rigatoni alla segreta.